Hey, and welcome back. Uh, way down here. You're up there. Good. Um, this video is going to be about the switch and how to get it prepared to install and probably install it. Installation is probably the easy part. Getting it ready to install is a bit tricky, so I'll show you what it's about. First off, we have this uh, Great Plains um, mounting set, switch and charging jack mounting set. Okay, now this comes without the switch. Uh, in the package, you got things that I'll show you that look like this that I'll show you in just a minute. Um, so the switch, uh, you probably may have seen this before in the in the completion guide, but this is the switch I'm using. It is a Spectrum three wire switch, and the reason it's three wires is because it allows you to both. Um, uh, check the voltage and charge if you want. I'll be checking the voltage uh, with my uh, voltage checker, uh, the Hangar 9 voltage checker. And uh, so the mounting set comes with a bunch of parts. This black uh, um, bracket and this little piece here will sit on the outside of the airplane and so it'll go in like that and uh, um, hold it to the airplane from the outside and in it they'll have a um, little push rod okay that little push rod will be attached to this little black thing here that will uh, move this switch back and forth so we, this switch is going to get mounted to the bottom of this and this little thing is going to move that switch I think why why bother doing all that? Why not just mount the switch? Okay, well I want to be able to check the voltage, and if you just mount the switch, then you can't check the voltage. And uh, there's several styles of this, and I like this one because you can physically look at and see whether this is in meaning off or out meaning on. So you can just look at your airplane and tell whether you forgot to turn it off or not. So I'm, I'm that's why I'm going to use this. And um, uh, I did, <laughs> you probably know me by now, I did a test, figure out how this thing works, and uh, it work, it's going to work well, but there's a, a procedure you got to go through to do it, and that's what I'm going to show you. So uh, let me get a couple things ready, and I'll uh, uh, go in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to follow the instructions that came with the Great Plains um, mounting set. And that's the drawing, and you got to look at it very carefully, otherwise it might be confusing. Um, so look at that, and then read the instructions on the back. They're very, very clear. Um, but again, it's attention to detail. Make sure you got it right. But uh, so now that I've tried it, uh, I think I know how to do it. Um, so um, Recalling that the switch has an offside and an onside, and the offside is the one with the two wires on it, and the onside is this is the onside which will go to the um, receiver to power the receiver. The offside has two wires, um, uh, one that will be mounted in this switch, and uh, um, the other that will be um, uh, where the battery will be installed. So the battery will go here, this will go into the mounting set, and this will go into the receiver. So the off side, that takes the battery, and then it's off until you turn the switch on, and then it powers this side, which goes to the receiver. And this is the plug where you can test or charge. Uh, and I'll show you what that means in a minute. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the side with the two wires, and take the one that's the male, we'll call that the female, call that the male, so the male side is going to go into um, this switch just like that, okay, this switch mounting kit, okay. Now if, if you look at the instructions, it didn't exactly say this, but it, in the instructions there's a little uh, indent inside this hole here that when you slide this in far enough and pull it back 
you can tug on it and it'll stay there. And that's where you want it to be when you put the little screw in here. So, but in order to do that, the best way to do it is take this front cover off. And the front cover have a, the, this, this front cover has a little cover to cover up the hole. And that's that little thingy there. Okay. Now, while you've got it in your hand, go ahead and put it on this big long screw because that's where it's going to go. That way you won't forget later. Okay. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to put this piece back on this piece, but the front hole is now open and I'm going to take my, um, my bolt meter and put it in there so that uh, so the voltmeter is in the front. I'm going to plug this in the back and so that those two go together. Actually, I'm going to pull it out here, put it together. Remember, black to black. Okay. And then I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to pull this back until it hits that lip. Okay. Now, what that does is th this is helping to hold it and center it. I'm pulling it back so that the uh, lip is there. I'm going to take this um, flathead uh, little quarter inch screw and start it. And take a small little flat bladed screwdriver and screw that down. Don't knock it off. Let me screw it down. Probably should have started this screw first, but that's okay. I can get it. There we go. Okay, so now you want to make sure that um, what you're screwing here is a piece of black plastic that's coming down and holding that. Uh, mail connector in place. Okay. Now I'm going to pull this out and uh, kind of try to make sure that that uh, uh, when you look inside there you'll see the connector and it's uh, not bottomed out. I'm going to actually put this back in black to black and there's the reason why because it wasn't tight enough. So um, I'm going to put these two things back together. The voltage uh, meter and this, and I'm going to pull this back until it hits the the uh, little detent in there. Try it without it first. There we go. Now I got lots of pressure on that and uh, it won't slip. I'm going to tighten down this little flathead screw. And it, it is good and tight, but you don't want it so tight that it um, breaks the plastic of that uh, male connector. So now I'll get real close here and you can see that um, that male connector is sitting up from the bottom. You can see how far down that the screw is. So when it's up from the bottom, let me see how tight it is. Oh yeah, it's good and tight. So now with that thing up from the bottom, it's going to make it real easy to plug the uh, uh, connector in. He says jokingly. There we go. So, um, yep. 
What I should have done was put put the, this back on. That would have made it centered, hopefully. And uh, then you can stick that on. Okay, so now you can pull this on and off, and the lead um, from the switch isn't going to move anywhere. Okay, I'll take that off, take this off. Okay, that's sort of step one. Uh, let me pause a minute, we'll go on to step two. Okay, step two is, this is the switch, uh, onside, offside, and I'm going to take the cover off. So taking these two screws off removes the cover, then the cover just says on and off, but you can tell which one is on and which is off because you got two wires which is off and one wire uh, that's on. So I'm going to take these two little screws out because the cover on this is meant to be mounted directly onto an airplane and so the cover is no longer needed because this is not sticking out of the airplane. So those two screws come out save them, you need them, and this, but this cover is not needed. Okay. So now, um, again, reading the diagram, the off side of that switch is to the back. So I've got the off side, which is the two wires, and uh, I'm going to um, mount it into this plate cover thing here and the two screws that came out of the plate for the switch are going to hold this in place. Now um, in my experimentation I did find that the offside um, screw really needs two washers. So I've got a tiny little large washer and a tiny little small washer okay so the reason for that is is that'll make sure that the washer will just make sure it doesn't slip through this uh, slot in the back so I'm going to put the tiny little small washer on first then the tiny little large washer on second you see my tweezers I could never do it with my fingers. Now these washers are just from my collection of stuff and uh, that collection of stuff includes a whole set of two millimeter size washers and screws. So these are two millimeter size washers. And so what we're going to do is put this here, put this here, hold it with one hand, and um, hold it there where you can see it. Take the tweezers, grab the screw just below the washer. Okay, screw just below the washer and just insert it in the hole and hold it. Phillips screwdriver and start it. So by starting it in the slot first, um, okay, I'm screwing this into the slot side first. Um, that's just barely finger tight. Actually, it's too tight because I want to be able to loosen, um, slide this thing around a little. Okay, there we go. So now this is not tight, but uh, you can move that back and forth. Now we get the the hole in the front uh, in the on side of the switch is just a single little hole. Okay. Now if you don't have the washers, it'll probably work. Uh, but I'm going to put a washer on that one too. And so, um, get my tiny little washer, put it on my tiny little sh bolt, screw bolt, and this time I'm just going to not bother with the tweezers, I'm going to take my Phillips screwdriver, hold it with my finger, 
and make sure that the I tell you what now what I'm going to do to make it easier is I'm going to line this hole up in the front side on side so it's just right where it needs to be and then tighten the back screw that doesn't slip around good then I'll get my screw and fill up screwdriver and start it in the front hole so now that it's started in the front hole I can tighten that up okay that's all real important because the next step limits your access to these little screws. Okay, so I can now tighten both of those screws a little more than finger tight just so they don't come off. They're into plastic so they're probably not going to rattle out. And um, I'm going to move this I'm going to move the switch to the on position because I think that I found that to be a little easier. So now you're going to take this little black plastic thing, and there's two sides to it. There's a large opening, and on the back side, a smaller opening. So that's a small square, that's the large square. Okay. So the small square goes on the switch. And also, don't forget one other thing, there's a hole in one end, and there's not a hole in the other end. Okay, so the end with a hole in it is going to go toward the front of the switch. Okay, so the the small square is down, the hole is toward the front, and now this big long screw, and don't forget the little black thing should already be on it and facing in the correct direction, is going to go. Um, Got to put this on first, <laughs> otherwise it won't work. Um, uh, now this is. I'm going to go ahead and do this just for test, but I'm not going to screw it in very far because you're going to do this step um, after it's in the airplane. But you ought to make sure you know what you you know test a little bit. And so now that will. There we go that will move the switch back and forth. I'm going to push it and pull it, and, but that's not tight, okay? And so when we go to tighten it, this will actually, this, this screw will tighten down onto that, onto that switch, okay? All black on black may be hard to see. Um, and then, so after we mount this on the airplane, then, you know, we can cover this little tab here, we'll cover that, that hole where you um, get to the charging port. Okay, um, the next step will, is to figure out where this is going to go in the airplane. So let me stop here and uh, I'll show you that next.